with two proud masts, one aft, one fore, and Hi, I'm Jo and I've been lucky enough to spend the last 10 years sailing the world's oceans. And one of the things I love most about the cruising lifestyle is the people you meet and the stories they tell you. So I decided to make this series called The Cruiser's Corner to bring these stories to you. The first story I want to tell you is about German Captain Misha and his 100 year old wooden yawl Pantagruel. Misha has owned Pantagruel for over 20 years and together they've weathered many storms. One night a storm the captain including losing the mast halfway across the Atlantic. Right the swell he lowered the sails but the mast it broke. In 2017 Misha and Pantagruel finally set off on a long awaited circumnavigation crossing the Panama Canal and entering the Pacific for the first time a year later. Devastatingly, Pantagruel sunk during tropical cyclone Yasa in Fiji in December 2020. But Misha refused to let this be the end of Pantagruel. So the story I want to tell you today is about the restoration of this historic vessel. I've split this story into six short episodes explaining the work that Misha did above deck, below deck, replacing the systems on board, as well as his thoughts about refitting a boat in Fiji and plans for the future. So this is Captain Misha on his boat Pantagruel. He sailed all the way from Germany and now we're in Vonda Marina in Fiji where Misha's been for the last best part of a year, nine yeah. months. It's almost ten months already. Yeah. <laughs> Why did you end up in Vonda, Misha? So it's, it's the 18th today, 18th of October. Ooh. On the 18th of December the boat sunk with a big cyclone in, uh, out in the Lao Group in Manobalabu in Fiji. Uh, so we're currently moving our boat into this little pocket in the Bay of Islands for the cyclone coming up in a couple of days. rains here and it's not going to stop for the next two days. One forecast and then this is nine, kind of... 987. What time is so What time should nine, nine, it going to get? 998. Oh, 1000. It's 987. Yeah, right. Is that in the middle? No, this is... Uh, 965. Yeah, this is the center. Huh? 965. So we're like right there. We're in the middle. It will be kind of the uh, wind of 50 knots, and then we inside we have maybe 30, 35, and the gust go up to highest gust here is 68. It's really 
this is this month. How long is this? Is, they are quite similar now, oh, no? Captain Misha said that we have at least 70 knots of wind because uh, our wind measure is broken. not the end of the story I was able to after two and a half weeks to lift it again bring it here to Wunder Marina and now in the last eight months I'm trying to restore the boat and uh, big steps last week we put it back into the water the Pantagruel after to sink last year on the Lao group he refitting here in Buda Marina Fiji go in the water Many compliments for Misha, do a very good job. One hundred one year old boat go back on the water. Was there much damage done to your boat? What were the biggest projects you had to work on? Yeah. So the mechanical damage to the boat was more or less on the deck in this area. Um, so because we were ended up under a rock and then the tide came up and pressed all this four winches down into the deck and removed part of the wall and the, the side of the hull. Wow. With my crew from Tana Pro, but uh, otherwise uh, Also quite some damage, and of course uh, the mizzen mast came down. It's back now. Yeah, <laughs> we got it back, and I was quite funny. So uh, it was bended a lot, like a banana, and I didn't want to uh, get a new one, even there would be like some offers in the marina. And we put it on the, the big uh, crane, the big travel lift, and bent it straight with a with a lift, huh? like a tall tree. <laughs> you think it's weaker because of that? No, this. Um, my rig is from a 50 ton um, yaw, uh, catch and even especially the mizzen mass I cut 7 meters of it. It's so strong it's just an overkill and the main mass is also much stronger than necessary. How were the electrics? What about the sails and the, any other systems on board? At the beginning it do, didn't look too bad but at the end you, after two and a half weeks underwater, you have to renew all technique which is on the boat. Even um, the mechanical part of uh, the anchor winch does not survive this thing. This is what the inside looks like. The whole hobo is uh, slowly, slowly submerging. We're gonna do what we can to help help our captain but we're just lucky to be alive so 
all the electric has to be new, all the electronics has to be new. There's a new engine on it and a new generator and uh, new pumps, wow. all of them for water and for the toilets. The build pump should start automatically at some point. Yes, now, now she starts. Oh. Mm -hmm. huh? And new fridges, um, new lights. Yeah. What is this? What? Light? Is it? Huh? Yeah. Wow. It was a it's five dollar light. All um, switches have to be new. Uh, this, even the hydraulic from the steering was um, damaged. Going there to splash now, eh? Yeah. Then, so, um, I will check first all the new super tools and stuff. Yeah. And then we move over. The yeah. Steering yes. is new and the engine, I don't know if it starts, so it's good to have a dinghy standby. Yes, I got to call now. To start all this uh, thing, at the beginning it was quite exciting because I didn't know how much money I will have, huh? whether the insurance will help a bit or not at all. And um, of course, I had very fast a backup from this crowdfunding what was really great and gave me a big motivation um, but then I had to um, think about the project and how it's possible and I couldn't do everything on my own and the, um, the biggest problem to do here in Fiji was to find uh, people with skills for wooden boat building In the next video Misha explains how he solved this problem and many others this next video will be about the repair work he did to the hull and the above deck structures. Someone spots us over the next bit and we can get some help getting out of here. It's a big moment for Misha. Moment when I touch the water, ready for splash. One, two, three, four, a splash! Panta Gruel go in the water again with new deck, new cockpit, everything new, the new interior. Okay. And down the hatches on the grand old yacht, and tagging. Okay. Emotional moment. See the, the strap slack and Panta floating again. Look like quite uh, happy. Awesome. She's not ready to be catch the wind, ride the swell, raised from the dead. Now salts and land lovers devotees. Catch the wind, ride the swell, chart a course again on the seven seas, Pantagruel.